They were, I think, reasonably optimistic that they could handle the challenges in the future. And they clearly were committed to enabling the UN to stay and to work and support us any way they can. And uh, we're very close to the government there. I think we'll probably be closer in future. And uh, that will, should help a lot. Uh, it's obviously a work in progress, and the Afghan army, uh, armed forces, the Afghan police have grown great numbers in recent years. Uh, they're under constant attack, particularly the police officers. They've lost thousands in the last year. Um, they continue to turn out and work. <laughs> I think in years past, when the difficulty, uh, things got rough, uh, security incidents rose, uh, the first, the sort of default mode of the UN was to leave, uh, particularly internationals to leave. Uh, that's changed. Uh, with this stay and deliver approach, first of all, it really focuses on security. It's not a reckless kind of we're going to do it regardless of what the security conditions are, but it's to very carefully analyze the threat, the risk to UN staff and their operations, and also how to mitigate those risks.